Hey guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting reading to episodes 1 and 2 of Twin Stars Exodus. Exorcist? There we go. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so we got a little bit of a problem. Um, So I have the file. I got the whole 50 freaking episode series, but it's one of those where it's the dual audio thing and everything, and I've been on here for about two hours trying to figure out um, how to get it from English to Japanese and I've done this like twice, like not even twice, like three or four times I felt like I've like lost count um, and no matter how many times I do it, it's predominantly going to the English side instead of going to the Japanese side. I don't know why. So I think what we're going to do for this is until maybe somebody gets finds me a file, I'm also going to kind of look after I'm done watching, you know, not only this, but um, March comes in like a lion. So probably later on tonight or if not tonight, maybe this weekend before I watch the next two episodes, try to look for another file for um, just strictly Japanese and such. I'm not mad about watching the English. It's just, you know, my preference and just like that. Um, but yeah. That's all I really need to say. I know nothing about this show. I, I've i seen, like, things here and there. I haven't been spoiled, thank God. But I, I have no idea what the hell this is going to be about and stuff. I don't know. Is it going to make me laugh? Is it going to make me cry? I don't know. But <laughs> other than that, let's go to get started on episode one in three, two, one, go. Too loud in my ear. Uh, oh, what the fuck? What the hell y'all got me watching? What the heck happened? Dang, Kachan from My Hero died. Oh my god. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm sorry, but what the heck is going on? <laughs> Guys? Okay. Oh yeah, give me, you know, the subtitles on the side, but not freaking audio. That's okay. Not mad. I thought that was a stuffed plushie for a moment. But okay. Turn it up a little bit more. We talking about the boy from the beginning? Oh, you poor baby. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Maybe just continue being yourself and, you know, yeah, you'll find a girl.
<laughs> oh, poor kitty. Oh, damn. You're like hella clumsy. Well, his smile's cute. And wanting to protect others, I think that's cute as well. I mean, these two ain't secretly gonna be like cousins or something. Lord Jesus Christ, let's not do that. I'm not ready for that. Are those supposed to be veins? I mean, you know, we're kind of going into the demon spirit world-ish with this, but you know, hey, it's okay. Yeah, I ain't mad at it. Got some questions, a little curious about this-ish, but uh, mm -hmm, whatever, what's your vote? Well, because that has to be that girl, right? Or could be the boy. Hmm? Well, damn. You don't have to be an ass. But because he lost everyone, maybe that could be the reason why he's like, I don't want to say he's depressed, but... That's really disgusting, but okay. I mean, you eat your own people just to become stronger. I mean, you know, whatever. What? One day. So fucked up. I 
I mean, he so could be. Of course it's going to happen, though. Is she gonna fall right? <laughs> she is. <laughs> Get you. <laughs> well, okay. So even though we're like eleven ish, ten minutes in, probably you know. No, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm waiting till the end of this episode to talk about it. I don't think you know where you are. <laughs> hmm? Well, damn, you ain't gonna speak? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Oh, you're hungry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Do you have money? Oh, shit. Girl, I, I, oh my god. Was your money on the train? I felt that. <laughs> oh, she's so adorable. Of course he took the kids. But well, dang, did you have to? Oh, the kid, damn. Hmm. 
No, it's not. I mean, I was going to say for the guy to help her, but you know, she can do that all by herself. Okay, so now how are you going to get them out of here? an exorcist. Hella dead, but you know, thank God. You know, you could do something if you want to, but I get the fact that you're still traumatized on your previous situation. But you can't do this by yourself, though. Or you could stay and help. She's trying her best, and I do like that, but there's going to be a point exactly right there. Slowly but surely, she's not going to be a match for him, and he's going to have to step in. Oh. anymore. 
Oh. I mean, hold up, but same thing with you. You haven't done anything in how many years? Oh my god, Cody? <laughs> it's time. Hi, baby. Okay, you, you gotta go lay on the bed now. On the bed. I'll let you out in a minute. Can she do that though? I, I mean, I'm guessing not yet. Let me guess, if you team up with him, you're going to be OV by the end of this show? Mm. But why would it be a curse, though? Because of the thing from two years ago or something? I don't know! I mean... <laughs> Year all of course <laughs> okay I do like this this is really good I have a lot of unanswered questions with this though it gives me the vibes of Noragami Jujutsu Kaisen maybe a little bit of Yu Yu Hakusho and then there's one other but I can't think of it I also have one more only really because of the the arm that he is using. Shut up, Fitbit. High School DxD. For some weird reason. Only really, like I said, because of the freaking arm. That's the only thing. Um, honestly, I like the two main leads. I, I'm, okay, so now also for what I've seen, they are not related. Thank God. No cousins, brother, sister, incest thing. Thank God. Because it's like, <laughs> I don't want to see that. Um, but yeah, I think it's really interesting. Just got a lot of questions on it. I like the first episode. Very interesting. I don't know who the English VA for the girl is, but for the guy, it's hella obvious because it's Bryce Proton book. He's in a lot of ish. I don't know when they probably did the recording for this, so I could say maybe 2012, 13, maybe? Yeah. I, I could be right. I don't know. But I really... No, no, no. I know what else this reminds me of. Um, this show that I'm waiting for this year that I gotta wait even longer for. Fucking, um... It's coming to me. <laughs> Not a music user in it. And it's like my other anticipated show this year.
Oh, okay, hold on. No, 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 no. Okay, as I was saying, um, Tokyo Babylon, uh, 2021, which was originally supposed to come out, but due to not only COVID, but they're currently in a situation where apparently, um, the company who was doing the anime didn't ask um, I think a Japanese fashion line to use the outfits for specifically um, Nana Mizuki's character, Best Girl, and um, Shota's Aoi's um, character who is playing Nana Mizuki's character in that show. I think it's both of their outfits or just Nana Mizuki's character's outfit because I know so much about that damn show because you know your girl has read the damn clamp novel mangas ish because your girl was so freaking ready for this damn series to come out and then they was like no it has to be like postponed so who knows when when in the heck that series is gonna come out but yeah it, it's very good I like it for what it is um okay so that preview and they're probably going see now you're going into sinful gear with <laughs> my two children about to fight each other and I was like oh no wait no no no, no, no let's not do this but I mean I think interesting interestingly I honestly want to see these two fight to see the level at where they at because just because because I'm gonna have to learn these names because in English the way they say it is doesn't really kind of match the way it's in the Japanese and such I'm gonna look before I watch episode two um it seems like to me, of course, the boy, you know, because of the fact that he's been out of the loop for two years and wanting to stop being an extra just because of what happened two years ago, I hope we get a little more clarity into that later on down the line of this 50 episode series. Um, he may not be as strong as he once was two years ago, but he could possibly be. I don't really know. The girl seems like maybe she possibly knows a little bit more than him. I don't know how long she's been training to become an exorcist. Hopefully we get something on that soon. Um, but she still knows her ish. But they're, they're on a different level or playing field um, in a way. It's like when you are, you know, let's say you're playing a freaking rhythm game or any other type of game. And for me, I could be on level... What level am I on for most of my rhythm games? level <laughs> our producer level i'm producer level one i think i'm almost like at 120 for one of my games and my uh one of my subs is a friend of mine is like on level nowhere near where i am <laughs> hella nowhere near where i am but you can see the difference between us like between me and him or especially if you play like an rpg with someone or you are playing you know anything and it just depends on how good you are but I don't know I mean yeah I hope he you know gets better and I hope we get a little more context of what happened that day because of course he is the sole survivor of what happened two years ago and you gotta feel bad for him because even till today he still feels traumatized from it even though he's kind of really um not not sort of reconciled with it but more is okay with it because you know you can't be depressed or anything for the rest of your life eventually you have to move on but there are still a little bit of subtle moments where he instantly remembers or thinks about it and he gets into that like zone of being you know afraid and upset possibly even depressed as well all over again and so it's a just a day by day situation but yeah go ahead and pause the video and i'll see you guys in one second for episode two Okay, episode two and three, two, one, go. That don't even sound like her, but it does. That is her VA. Oh my god. Oh, girl. oh, oh, my God, Benny. <laughs> you guys fight like a married couple. 
Where are the kids? Oh, cool. Yeah, Benny, Benny. -o. Yeah, Rocco and Benny, y'all literally fight like a damn married couple. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't worry. You'll see each other again. See, you say that now, Benny, and then you know by episode 50 or something, y'all probably gonna end up dating. It's not bad. It's really good. Interesting. Different, but very similar to other type shows that I've seen that have that, like, supernatural as feels vibes and stuff. But, you know, since fucking Tokyo Babylon 2020, the show that I'm anticipating for this year, we have no clue, once again, when the hell that show is coming out. And something tells me... If I can give a guess until the situation that I talked about in the previous episode, maybe like summer, fall as because I'm really excited for that show because of the three people who are cast in it, who I love so much and anything that they've also done. And I just cannot wait to see all three of them together. And then if because of the fact is they're making it an actual anime, it's a possibility that, like, one of my most anticipated other clamp series, I got a movie, might also get an anime, and we might get the whole story, maybe. I don't know. Like, oh, it would be a dream. Oh, no subtitles this time? Mm. <laughs> oh, of course. Not only a rival, but also a love interest. You know, Rogoda, do you have a familiar? Probably not. <laughs> Does he really have her wear this bunny onesie? What? Why? Oh, 
るんよ。<笑>I think look like a damn frog. Money. I mean, yes, Benny got moves, but Benny needs to know there's no I in team that you need to work together. Her and Rokodo are very hella similar. Aw, she's so cute! Oh my god! He died, didn't he? Mm -hmm. I mean, but you're right. You feel like Rokuro isn't the type of person to want to do it anymore, but he was in a do or don't situation and he had to use his powers. Maybe. Hmm. When he lost everything. And because of what happened two years ago, he's not like that anymore. Hmm. Come here, Cody. Knock. But, oh, come here. Okay, just just sit with me, and then when I'm done, I'll let you go. Or what? Well, damn. Episode one. You know he hits the chest. Uh, boo. <laughs> 
random six pack in a neck. <laughs> I got you. You're okay. He's pretty though. Cody, let me see you real quick. Let me, uh uh. Move. Sorry, guys, he had something on him. <laughs> really, Cody. Well, let's hope so. So is Rokuro this Miko? Or is it but Hell, it could be both of them. Of course. <laughs> yes, you. Well, damn. <laughs> the signs have pointed to it already.
Are you serious? Oh, but you're going to fight anyway. You have to. Exactly. Also boring as well because Rokuro doesn't want to do anything. But you know what happens. No, you could kill him if you want. Horrible, that's so fucked up. Oh. You did die. Oh. She lost everyone. This girl just swarmed in like she damn Super Saiyan or some ish. Hello? <laughs> oh my god. She might just defeat his ass. Yeah, let the trout. Ah! Sir, it was just getting good. He had to say those things, of course. I don't know, something a lot, a little mm, suspicious about him. But y'all ain't hear that from me.
You too. They're 14. Ara? Ara, ara? Ara, ara? No! Excuse me? What? <laughs> Y'all serious? We're all okay. So we're all okay with this, right? Right? I'm guessing we are, which, you know, makes the most sense. But okay, so both of them have really sad, tragic backstories. I mean, <sighs> Benny losing possibly her brother first and then her parents and being in an orphan for the rest of her life until she had to, well, not for really for the rest of her life, because I'm guessing that was her grandmother at the beginning of episode one, but she's lived with her ever since, but she still possibly feels a certain type of way, you know, because of the fact that she doesn't have her mother, her father, possibly her fa uh, her brother as well, in her life. And then Rokuro, you know, losing everyone who he's grown up with. And, I mean, that's fucked up. God, the fight between these two actually was really good, and I felt like we're going to get a little bit more, like, interactions with these two. Of course, they're going to be fighting a lot. Um, Benny kind of reminds me a lot of Ray Hino from Sailor Moon a little bit. Also, Rukia, just only really because of what Cassandra Lee Morris is portraying in her voice. I don't know who does the Japanese voice, but we'll find that out when I watch episodes three and four in Japanese next week. But yeah, I mean, I think the portrayal of both of the characters are really interesting, even though your girl has not watched in Japanese. I think probably what I'm also going to do before I watch episodes three and four next week is rewatch episodes one and two, but in Japanese, just to not really compare and contrast like English to Japanese because. Anytime when we, you know, anyone talks about anime, the biggest thing is that a lot of people always want to know fan-wise what is better, a sub or a dub. Whatever your preference is, is your preference. Me, I'm a person who really just likes to read and watch. Unlike my lovely mother, I, no matter what anime we watch together, I immediately have to watch it in English with her because <laughs> of reasons. But yeah, we'll, we'll continue on that in a minute because I have a little funny story about the show that we just finished. Well, two shows that we finished. Um, but yeah, they're both interesting. I just want to know a little bit more about their backstories, especially like how did both feel after losing the people that they cared about the most and what did they move, uh, what did they use to cope with that, to eventually move on from it? Because I feel like Rokuro has a lot more than Benny, maybe. I don't know. They could have an equal amount of sense because they've lost a lot of people that they've cared about up until now but I feel like for Benny she used her her love and anger of losing her family into becoming the most powerful exorcist that she can become as of right now while Rokuro kind of hid that away because he didn't want to be reminded of that daily and so I mean, <laughs> I get it. It happens. We all, you know, the trauma that happens and that we face, we all do different ways to cope with it and such. But I think they're both going to do good. Yeah, this is a, both episodes were damn good. Okay, so let's talk about, you know, the situation of subs and dubs. And For example, okay, so my mother and I, we watched two shows on Netflix. We binged um, Alice in Borderland, we watched that in English because, of course, as I said, as someone who is a preference for Japanese and reading the subtitles, when I'm watching an anime or anything in Japanese with my mom, I automatically have to watch it in English with her. And there are some dubs that will do a really stellar performance and then there are ones that are not so much. For example, Alice in Borderland's um, dub was not the best in my opinion and your girl is going to rewatch that damn show in Japanese and such. And then we watch... We we were watching it at least kind of before we watched, we started Alice in Wonderland. We were watching Cells at Work because my mom, I was talking to her about it and it was Thursday and she's like, oh, did you watch her show about, you know, the body? And at first I didn't know what the heck she was talking about. And then I was like, oh my God, that's what you're talking about. 
Um, and we, we kind of binged it in, like, two days and stuff, because we watched, like, we, I think we watched up to, like, episode, the Cancer Cell episode of season one, and then we watched the rest. Um, and, yeah, the dub on that show is brilliant, because I know the range of all those voice actors and such, especially whether I'm watching it in English or Japanese, because there are some, there are some shows that I love both the sub and the dub, and then sometimes I may love the dub more than the sub, or I may love the sub more than the dub. But really, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. It's just your preference. Everyone's not going to like what you like. It's okay. You just, you know, you're going to meet people who do like to watch dubs over subs or subs over dub. It, it doesn't matter. But yeah, the dub for this really wasn't that bad. This isn't my first time where I, in the end I had to watch a dub first before I was able to watch the sub. Um, I had to do that with one episode of Fire Force, not only this, but I think, um, oh my god, I can't think of the name of that damn show, and it was a Patreon show, too, the, um, oh my god, you know what, no, give me my damn phone, I'm gonna look at my phone, cause it's in my freaking, uh, playlist and ish, but it's that one show that I really, really enjoyed, and I thought was really good, very different for what it was. If I can find it real quick. No. No. No, no, dust me. Um, no, ain't to you yourself. That's it. But yeah, this was a really interesting first two episodes or what it was. I'm guessing it's going to set the stage of whatever the hell is going to happen next with these two. Of course, we're going to get a lot of funny, wacky shenanigans with these two because, of course, you know, it's... Star-crossed lovers, really not really, but yeah, they're gonna fall in love with each other, and they're probably gonna look back and be like, "Hmm, remember in episode one when I not episode one, but remember in episode two where I almost kicked your ass and possibly killed you, and now look at us, we're in love." <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be really funny to see. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes one and two of Twin Stars Exorcist. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons and next Thursday for everybody else for episodes three and four. Bye, guys.